Terry Felix. I'm from the Stalis First Nation, Canada, near Vancouver. Um, I played soccer when I was a youth, and we came from a little Indian reservation, and there was no um, structured soccer. And my first structured practice was when I was 21 years old, and within two and a half years, I was on the starting lineup of our national team, Olympic team, and the Whitecaps professional team. And to date, I'm the only native to, to do that in Canada. And um, there might have been another professional soccer player native, but no other native has played for Canada or the Olympic team. And there was no structure in our practice, so we just kicked the ball around, kept the ball up. Um, played two on two, one on one, and that was the extent of our training when we were kids. So we never um, had any practices with official coaches, no soccer clinics. Um, it was just kicking the ball around on the Indian reservation and until and getting that skill level up. So, you know, we would juggle the ball, um, you know, six, seven, eight hundred times, just keeping the ball up and, and getting your. Um, your touch on the ball and a lot of running. Um, I used to run mountains. Um, uh, my favorite one was eight miles from the bottom up to the top of the hill. So we jogged up and down. Long distance I would jog um, 26 miles uh, getting ready for tournaments and stuff. Um, so a lot of it was physical and the mental part came with all the hard work, all the hard jogging and the ball, the touch of the ball came with juggling and playing two on two helped the, um, um, the skill level, like the dribbling level. So, and I never got any training until I was 21 with official coaches. So everyone was way ahead of me and I just did my physical part and um, that carried me through to the top levels, able to play with the top players and my technical side held me back for two years. But after the two years was gone, and then I played with um, all the top players in Canada, and the Whitecaps were a really good team back then in 80, 83. And um, so just the physical part and keeping the ball up helped me stay with these guys. Yeah, so even though I didn't get all the technical training, um, that came playing and then getting the coaching. Um, Back, back then it was little Indian reservations and that's where we played ball. Uh, moving into a big city was a big thing. I mean, you're used to a little community with 300 people. Moved to Vancouver with you know a couple hundred thousand people and meeting new people, um, seeing different things. We traveled a lot in North America um, to different cities, big cities, and it just opens your mind know to what's out there and um, so after I decided to quit soccer and my my daughter was born um, I knew the whole world was there so I, I came out of my shell I was never uh, never left the Indian Reserve much and there's so much more to see out there and things that you can learn and experience and um, and the only thing that I have to do now is start putting back into into soccer and letting these kids see what is out there and what they can achieve. And my son is coaching a 17 and under select team and I'm helping him out, giving him points and um, he's doing a really good job. So I'm getting involved that way and I'm gonna teach these kids um, a few tricks that you need to know. Um, you can train and train and train, but, but I guess the tricks is the experience that I'm passing on to them. So they'll be able to move up to higher, higher levels, and um, hopefully professional and international. You see the ability of our kids. Um, they got the proper training over the last since they were children. My son's team is 17 and under. You know they've been getting good training for 10 years, and even the um, coaches that are on the um, FNSA. I mean they're teaching. Um, kids how to do it properly, how to train properly, uh, the structure, and uh, one of the coaches is um, connecting 
one of the players to the ladies' professional teams. So they have all the connections, they can assess them, and um, being able to assess them and, and um, put them into teams where they can flourish, you know, that's a big part of it. Because you don't want to put them into a team that'll, um, you, you know, sort of scare them away from soccer. So they're being assessed the proper way, getting put into um, teams that will help them along, and um, probably turn them into professional soccer players now. They're right at that level right now. It's important to have fun when you're playing soccer. And when you enjoy soccer, you're out there, the first one on the field, the last one off the field. It's all about enjoying the game, nothing else. I mean, you train hard, you play soccer all the time, like all the kids do, but you really have to enjoy being with your teammates. And as you get to know your teammates, and then you're willing to, to, to battle for them, and it makes like that camaraderie. So now it's like us against the world type thing. That'll put them right up at the top level, just to have fun, yeah.